What is going on, guys? It is Pro Player After here, aka the Donk, back with a brand new video. I didn't think I'd be doing this video anytime soon, but here I am in front of you guys, ready to talk about this because I am officially retiring from professional Call of Duty. I've been doing this for 10 plus years. This has been my passion. This is what I've loved for so long, and it just sucks to see it go. A lot of you guys know I was on the LA Gorillas last year and then before that I was on Seattle and you know things just didn't go too well for me and as a team uh, obviously we were like basically last place you know we weren't performing I wasn't performing at times and I tried to get on a pro team this year I really wanted to continue to compete but my stock is just slow people didn't maybe want to take a chance on me I understand you know I'm not going to sit here and be like I deserve to be on the best team you know I'm freaking nasty I really felt like I had some gas left in the tank and like I really could have, you know, proved people wrong and really, you know, did my thing because in my head, my one goal before I retire was always to get a third ring because I was this close to making it happen. I should have, I should have three rings right now, but it's all good. That's a pass. But one of my goals was like, I want to get that last ring before I retire. I have to do it. And obviously. It just sucks, man, because sometimes the life in life, you want things to go one way and it goes the other way and you can't unfortunately do anything about it. So with that being said, I am going to retire. Um, I think it's best for my my future and my present time to do that exactly and go ahead with that. Obviously not being a pro team and just, I don't want to go down in that challenger's mess. I would rather just do what I love, enjoy what I'm doing and, you know, continue to do that. So throughout my career, I've met so many amazing people. I've, you know, teamed with so many amazing people. It's been an honestly like such an amazing journey. And it, it makes me so happy that I was able to go through all that. You know, some good times, some hard times. You know, competing can be very frustrating. That's why you see some gray hair sometimes for me. Um, you know, I've teamed with some uh, very frustrating players, very fun players, very good players. I've met so many amazing people. I wouldn't change it for the world. I've learned so much, like I said, and, you know, it really sucks, you know, that this is all coming to the end. And I feel like I'm really going to miss it. Like, I know I'm going I'm going to miss competing. Like, it's going to suck so bad. But, you know, <laughs> like I said, that's life. You know, I got to move on to the next thing. A lot of you guys know I became a dad last year. Well, I guess a year and a half ago now. Um, you know, it's been an amazing journey with that as well. Being a new parent, being a dad and raising my daughter. So. You know, it kind of sucks, but I'm on to new things, hopefully better things. Um, I've always mentioned before that I people ask me like, oh, what do you want to do once you're done competing? Once you retire, what's your plan? What do you want to do? And I always said it. I want to be a content creator. I want to be a full time content creator. I want to go 110 percent. I want to give it my all. I want to have fun with it because it's something else that I love to do. A lot of you guys have been following me for 10 years. No, well, some of you maybe you've known me for 10 years, but a lot of you guys have been following me for a long time. I started doing YouTube about seven years ago on and off um streaming about six five six years ago and a lot of you guys that have been following me know that i post content i make youtube videos i stream you know I, I do all these little things and then during the season i become a little inconsistent because i'm focused on winning i'm focused on being the best player i'm focusing and prioritizing on those things especially when i start sucking or my team starts sucking and i gotta make those sacrifices where yes i enjoy making content but i love winning and i love being the best a little more and i want and i need to prioritize that because at the end of the day that is my job and that is my duty and to be the best player i can be to be the best team that i can be so a lot of you guys know i've been making content for a very long time and i love it man i love making videos i love making people laugh i love making people's days i love inspiring people like i love connecting and interacting with everybody and i get that from streaming but obviously you can do that from making all types of content youtube videos TikToks, whatever so I love it. I love it a lot. And it's kind of been this second passion of mine that I always wanted to pursue once I'm done competing. Now, it is a little bit of a risk. It can be, you know, scary. It's a little bit of the unknown. It's questionable without a doubt. You know, I, I'm like a part of me is terrified. Like <laughs> this is a big risk. You know, obviously at this point in my life, I have bills. I need to make, you know, I need to be financially stable in order to live. And um, but, you know, I, this is a risk I have to take. This is one of those risks where I feel like if I don't do this, I won't be happy. I won't like, I won't feel like my life has been fulfilled. I need to take the shot and take this chance. If it fails, it fails. If it doesn't go as good as I thought it would, then it doesn't go as good as I thought it would. 
but I have to take the shot. I don't want to have this regret because this is something I've always wanted to do. And it's something I wanted to do once I was done competing. So this is the opportunity I feel like to do it now. Um, a lot of you guys have been know knowing like that I've been streaming during the off season. It's been going pretty well. You know, I'm really happy with that. You know, I'm really happy. I've been grinding. You know, I'm ready 50 plus days in a row. I've been putting a lot of time and it's going well. Obviously, I'm not like some big streamer right now. I'm not like one of the biggest or by any means. But the support and love I've been getting to stream has been amazing. And, you know, I really have faith and I have a lot of hope that I can make, you know, something out of this and become big and actually make this like my dream, my, my, my next career, my goal, whatever you want to say. And that is the next step for your boy Apathy. That is the next step, you know, and I, I, I want to go on this journey and I, I want to do it with all of you guys and all of you guys to support if you guys support me it's cool if you guys don't it's all good man you know I have a lot I have love for for all of you it is what it is at the end of the day um but this is a journey that I'm extremely excited for but a little bit scared at the same time um but I know you know my work ethic and I'm I'm not stopping until I make it and it's gonna be tough it's gonna be some hard days it's gonna be some you know hard times some hard weeks I don't know it's going to be a little difficult, but the good thing is I do have experience in making content and I feel like I do have a good work ethic and I just got to put all the pieces together and just keep putting out content for you guys. And I hope you guys really, really enjoy it. So with that being said, that is my next plan. Be a full-time content creator. I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. We got, you know, I'm going to be posting on everything. I'm going to be streaming daily. You know, we're going to be streaming every single day if you guys have been watching my warzone streams you know how we do out there you know how we do i'm gonna be posting on youtube consistently i'm not saying every day but like probably every other day at least like something like that you know four three to five videos a week uh but consistently you know i don't want to stop out of nowhere i'm not gonna stop content creator you know i gotta i gotta stay consistent i gotta be put into work so obviously with vanguard coming out as well that's gonna be a whole nother world when vanguard comes out because that's gonna allow me even post more content and tip videos and all these things and i'm posting on tiktok and you know i'll engage with you guys on twitter and i'll post twitter clips and all these things and i'm ready to go in 110 percent because that's the best way to do it that's the only way to do it i won't give up easily i'm going all in and if you guys ever struggle with anything man i i'm telling you now don't give up you got to be patient things take time and a lot of hard work but work efficiently so with that being said, I want to thank you all for your support throughout my professional Call of Duty career. Every single one of you guys, you know, from the fans, from the players, from the teams, from the organizations to my friends and family. It's been such an amazing career and journey. And I just want to thank you guys all, whoever and everyone who supported me. Without you guys, I wouldn't have gone as far as I did. I'm telling you, during the dark times, during the bad times, and I've been through a lot of them during my career. You guys kept motivating me. You guys kept pushing me up. And I thank you all for that. And even though I am retiring as a pro player, I will still be in the Call of Duty scene. You will be seeing me a lot. And I'll be concentrating on my daily streams. You guys know I'm playing Warzone. I'll be participating in Warzone tournaments. We got Vanguard coming out. I will be still here, guys. I love Call of Duty. I love video games. I love just, you know, everything about it, man. And I still want to be included. I want to be here in the scene. Obviously, not as a pro player, but I'm still going to be here. I got you guys. I'm excited to see what the future brings. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more content. You can follow me on my social medias. I'll have them all down below. I will be streaming. This is very important because I'm going to be doing this all the time. And this is one going to be one of my main focusing focuses. I will be streaming at twitch.tv slash apathy. A lot of you guys that probably watch this video know my stream. If we have a lot of new people, amazing, man. I hope to see you guys all there. I can't wait to, you know, just go down this journey. It's exciting. I hope to see a lot of you guys there. Old faces and new faces. Let's do this thing. I'm, <laughs> I'm excited. Really quickly before I leave, leave some comments down below. What would you like to see on this channel? Much love and much respect as always. The Donk out.